Hello friends, welcome to Tech Tour. This is the second video on complexity analysis of iterative programs. In the previous video, we have discussed some of the basic problems on complexity analysis. Here we will discuss some more problems. Okay, so let's take this first check function. Here we have a for loop and we have only one statement in this for loop. That means we have to find out how many times this statement will execute in order to get the complexity of this function. So you can see that in this for loop, the value of i is getting doubled every time. So you can analyze this loop as after first step, the value of i is 2. Fine, because initially the value of i is 1, it will execute one time and then the value of i will become 2 okay now the value of i is 2 so after second step okay when the value of i is 2 printf will execute and the value of i will become 4 okay now the value of i will become 4 that means the value of i will become 2 square fine after third step now the value of i is 4 and this condition will be true and this printf will execute now the value of i will become how much 8 okay that means so this will be continued until this condition will become false the condition is i is less than n okay so suppose after some k steps Okay, after kth step, okay, uh, in the first step the value of i is 2, in the second step the value of i is 2 square, in the third step the value of i is 2 cube, so in the kth step the value of i will be 2 raised to power k. So with this value, okay, you can assume that this condition will become false. That means for simplicity let's take this 2 k power k is equals to n. Okay, so at this condition, let's take this n is equals to your 2k power k. So when the value of i will become 2k power k, that means n, then this condition will become false and you will come out of this loop. Fine. So after some kth step, the value of i is 2k power k, where you can suppose that 2k power k is equals to n or 2k power k may be greater than n. Fine. Now, you know that in every step, this printf is getting executed only one times. So, the complexity of this function will be order of k. Okay, you can also write this k in the form of n. Okay, so since it is given that n is equals to 2k power k, you can take natural log of both the sides. So, log of n base 2 equals to log of base 2 of 2k power k okay here you can see that this will be your k equals to log of n where base is 2 okay so you can also write this complexity as order of log of n fine so the complexity of this function will be order of log n where base is 2 fine now discuss this second check function in this check function you can see that the value of i is getting half after every iteration okay so you can also analyze this function in the similar way after first step the value of i will become n by 2 okay the value of i was n initially and after executing this statement the value of i is now become n by 2 okay after second step the value of i will become how much n by 4 that means n by 2 square okay so on after some k steps okay the value of i will become n divided by 2k power k and suppose this is your for simplicity equals to 1 so if this is equals to 1 or less than 1 then this condition will become false because this condition says the value of i must be greater than 1 
okay so if it is equals to 1 or if it is less than 1 then this loop will get terminate okay so uh, at this point when the loop will be terminate then the value of i is n upon 2k power k and that is equals to 1 so here also the printf statement is executing total of k times okay at every iteration the printf is getting executed only one time so the complexity of this program is also order of k okay here you can also find the value of k in terms of n you know that n divided by 2k power k is equals to 1 that means n equals to 2k power k here you can also apply the same procedure here and you can get that k is equals to log of n base 2 you can also say that the complexity of this function will be order of log n okay where the base is 2 fine so in both the cases either the value of i is being doubled every time or the value of i is being half every time in both the cases the complexity of this function will be order of log n fine okay now we will take one more example so now let's analyze this check function okay this function has three for loops and all the for loops are independent of outer for loop okay you can see that this loop is for i this loop is for j and this loop is for k and the comparison is being made or the increment or decrement is being made only on that variable we also solved some of the problems where this condition was dependent on the value of i or the increment or the this will be dependent on some value of j or i but here the case is different all the loops are independent okay so in such cases you can find out the complexity of every for loop and you can multiply all those complexities okay because for i equals to n by 2 this portion will execute entirely then for j equals to 1 this loop will execute entirely okay this loop is executing from i equals to n by 2 to n and value of i is getting incremented by 1 okay so that means this loop will execute a total of n by 2 times fine if you will see this loop this loop is also starting from 1 and it will go till n by 2 that means this for loop for j will also execute a total of n by 2 times now this loop the k is starting from 1 and the value of k is getting doubled at every iteration you know this loop okay in this loop the total number of times this printer will execute will be log of n okay where base is 2 fine so since all the loops are independent to each other then you can directly multiply the number of times these loops are executing okay so if you will see n by 2 into n by 2 into log of n this is the total number of times this printer will execute okay if you will see then you can say that now you can say that the complexity of this function will be n square log n you can remove the constant part okay here the complexity will be n square log n now i will take one more example now consider this check function okay it looks a bit complex but it is very simple okay now uh, till now we were using for loop but in this particular function i have used while loops instead of for loops okay so there are two while loops okay okay uh, let me do one thing this is your inner while loop okay and this is your outer while loop now it become more clear okay so this is nothing but writing a for loop from j equals to n till j is greater than 0 and the value of j is getting half after every iteration okay you know the complexity of such a for loop okay i have done nothing but i have changed the for loop into while loop okay also one more thing is here that this inner while loop is independent of outer while loop fine this loop is entirely for j and the outer loop is entirely for i 
okay the value of j is n at the start of the loop and it is getting half after every iteration okay so this inner while loop will execute a total of log n times okay you know this you know the complexity of this while loop okay so this inner loop will execute a total of log n times okay also this outer loop will execute a total of log n time why here the value of i is 1 till the value of i is less than n we are executing this loop and after every iteration the value of i is getting doubled okay here i have used both the cases that we have discussed at the start of this video in one in the start of the video we have taken two function in one in one function the value of i was getting doubled and in the another function the value of i was getting half okay here i have mixed both the cases in one program so here this inner loop will execute total of log n time and this outer loop will also execute a total of log n time okay so the total number of times this printer will execute will be log n into log n so the complexity of this function will be order of log n order of log n whole square fine so hope you understood all the problems in this video in the next video we will discuss the complexity of recursive programs please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching